Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls. And this is our daily card reading. Where are we at? The 28th? I don't even know what's going on. Let's see. <laughs> Let's see what else we can bring up. If you're going through a very hard time right now, because again, this has this feeling of so many shifts and changes. Um, it's being on high alert and it's taking you away from things that normally you would be super worried about, right? Uh, now it doesn't matter. Right? It does not matter. Um, I mean, if you're worried about debt, I keep feeling like the banking system is something's going to happen with the banking system. I don't know if this is a little too like Mr. Robot where all the debt gets wiped away. Maybe that's a bit much, but something changes where it releases us. And it's, um, because we were, we're in a false debt structure anyway. Right. So it's just, um, uh, all the expectations. And then, you know, I, I don't want to get too much into this here, but you know, certain people are not making enough money, even though they're working very, very hard. And then things are still increasing in price and, you know, so on and so on. Again, we don't need to go down that whole, that whole kind of direction there. But, um, I'm telling you, if you're going through a hard time, going through a lot of change, you are loved. You are so loved. Never doubt that. Oh my God. The things that I see people when they're walking around hurt. And I've been hurt. I still have days. I, I deal with depression. Of course I do. I'm human. I'm, a, I'm an empath human. <laughs> yeah, we do. Uh, but I, I work on it as much as I can. And I get proper support to come on through. To have the bounce back, right? To have the bounce back time. Um, everybody's different. Everybody's having, you know, maybe it's more prolonged. Maybe it's more intense or maybe something entirely different. But regardless, your experience is valuable. You are valuable. You are loved. And I'm telling you, whatever changes, it needed to change. So there's that. Let me see if there's anything else here as we go through the cards. <laughs> they said, good job. <laughs> good job. All right coming back home there's a big feeling of coming back home or someone's trying to get you to come back home that part now coming back home could be metaphorical okay so it's like come back to this relationship or literally come back to your hometown or come back to this company or come back to you know whatever just make sure if these people were not treating you well or this maybe it's an ex or something like that if they weren't treating you well when you did show up for them and there's no sign that they've grown or changed and even then going with eyes wide open, not defensive, but aware. If they didn't show any kind of signs of improvement, walk away, walk away. You can make it on your own. It's okay. All right. Anyway, <laughs> a lot of stuff coming through. Let's see what else we got here. All right, Justice. Well, okay. Archangel Raguel. So Raguel is all about playing nice. How long do we get along with one another? Can we see someone else's point of view? Um, even if it's somebody that you're like, I would never try to see their point of view. I mean, even in the craziest circumstances, somebody has a sad story behind that. A tragic story behind whatever, Okay. Again, that doesn't mean that you go, hey, what you did was fine or justified. We ain't doing that. We ain't playing those kind of games. But perhaps some of us just having an understanding, we can then work to not have it happen again. I think that's what a lot of, what is it, like forensic, I don't know what their title would be, um, but people who study the minds and even the physical brains of people who've done the most heinous things, right? Uh, Hopefully that's with the intention of making sure it doesn't happen again, right? Or how can we help um, our society a little bit better to have better judgment too? I'm telling you, there's a lot here. How well do we treat each other? It doesn't mean you're an enabler. It's fascinating to me how people are so quick to say, oh, you say you're a great person? <laughs> okay, and I'm just going to go right in and I'm going to be one of your flying monkeys. That's a thing. The psychological community actually calls it that. I'm the Wizard of Oz. Okay, so anyway, let's get into this. It says, fight for justice and equality. Rulings made in your favor, don't give up. Now, if you're sitting here and you're like, 
we, I have a, <laughs> I have a lawsuit pending. I'm going to win. You may not. Not everything is about your surface level situation. That's why people don't like my videos so much. Because <laughs> they're not wildly entertaining <laughs> because of that. Um, no, this is, oh God, I can't stress it enough. Cracked open. Here it is. Oh my gosh. We're all a part of this. We all played into this. None of us helped. None of us stood up. It was right under our noses. That's what it feels like. It was right under our noses. And because of our conditioning, we just didn't see it. And now we see people, people who need help, and we step up and help them. And that's justice for them. And again, that word justice, that's flinging around a lot right now. There are going to be lots of twists and turns. And the best that you can do is to stop distracting yourself with surface level stuff. Listen, being successful, is that lovely? Yeah. You know, you, you have a project you want to finish and it makes you really, really happy, then do it. But don't ever forget that there is a bigger collective experience that's happening right now and you're a part of that. You're a part of that. So do what you can energetically to send healing, peace, I pray every night for every person on this planet, especially children. And uh, in any way that just me as a single person can do, try to raise some bit of frequency. So maybe someone will think twice before doing something awful to another person. I, I can't stress it enough, guys. We're, we're not in end times. It's not end times at all. But we're not going to go on in the same way. And the justice comes from us. We step up and we help those. We make sure their names are heard. We make sure that systems are in place that benefit everybody. Um, or anybody who cares to have that particular service or what have you. Okay? I know this is not making sense right now. I think it is one of those things like as it plays out, we'll look back and go... That's what it was. There's a weird sense of relief around it, though, too. It's a change. It's scary to have change. <laughs> um, we realize things that we didn't do enough about. I mean, I'm thinking of examples, but you, I'm sure you already have come up with examples on your own where you just didn't realize how bad it was, okay? And that's coming... That's coming up now. So we're going to leave it there. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.